Am I in the center of the screen? Hold on, little fellas. Hey, Fox fam, it's, uh, it's me again. Hi. Um, today, <laughs> I'm filming this on a Sunday, so I have kind of like not done much with my appearance other than slap some makeup on. I actually recreated, or I tried following one of Nikki Tutorial's very first YouTube videos. So that's what this is. I had to add a little bit to it because the end result wasn't as great. There was no blush or highlight or anything, so I had to add that. Um, where, where, oh, it's, it's like backwards, the monitor. Where, where are you going? This, this video has been needing to be done for a while, just like all of the other videos I feel like I've been uploading lately. I'm like, should have done it a long time ago, but I didn't get around to it. So, um, this is my rescued leopard gecko pair. Um, I have one other leopard gecko. Her name is Neff, short for Nefertiti, which I've done a video on her. Um, and I showed the tank that she was in and just the conditions that she was kept in when I adopted her. I consider it rescuing when they don't have everything that they need and it's not like an ideal situation for them. Um, I really feel like I am like saving them, <laughs> you know? Oh, I'm saved. I'm saving. So I my, my idea when I got these two what I got them in February and I was actually going to just get them out of that situation, get them a great cage set up and then adopt them out to somebody because I was like, there's no way that I need three leopard geckos. <laughs> and as it turns out, I do, I do need three leopard geckos. I might even need more. Uh, we'll just jump right into their story. Um, she's got her own idea of what's going on today. So <laughs> let's try and do this before she's nowhere to be seen. So because I'm crazy, um, I often check, check Craigslist and look on there just to see what there is. That's where I found Neff. That's where I found my Savannah monitor, which I am going to put up a video about this week, actually. Um, it'll be up on Saturday. So um, I, was, I happened to be out in Palm Springs for my friend Nicole Concilio's launch party with Smashbox. And so I just happened to be like, it was a long drive out there. So I was like, I might as well just check Craigslist and see what's happening out here. Is there any weird animals that I need? I was just on there. What were you doing? Oh, it's the wrong shoulder, literally. <laughs> in the monitor, it looks like it's this shoulder. Hey, where are you going? Okay, hi. No, you gotta come back. You don't, you can't work, walk vertically on my shirt. I don't think that's gonna work out too well for you there, bud. I saw these two and I saw them on Craigslist and they were like $50 for two of them and they were in a really small tank for their size. Like, as you can see, he is quite big. Now, I say he, but when I got these guys, the guy told me that they're both females. Now, they're absolutely definitely not both females, and I'll tell you why in a little bit here. If you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know. But so these two were in the tank that you see on the screen right here. It was awful. That is an awful tank to keep lizards in, or any animal for that matter. It's not big enough. The paper towel doesn't look like it's been changed in forever. Some people like to use paper towels in tanks. I don't believe in that. I think that it should be as close to their natural habitat as possible. Um, I think it's only fair that we recreate that to the best of our ability. And yeah, so, and I just kind of feel like if you can't afford, you know, um, the proper substrate for a leopard gecko, then you shouldn't have one. And that's just my, my thought on it. So I felt really bad that they had this tank. I mean, they don't even have a moist hide in there. There wasn't even any way to keep one of those moist. So it was really, really tiny and just really dirty. There was no light, there was no heat mat. So I, I um, reached out to the guy and he told me that they were both females and I was like, How, do they bite? Like, what's their personality and their temper like? I was gonna take them either way, I didn't care. I just wanted to know what I was getting into. He told me that they're both female and that this one right here, my big boy, um, had bit his wife before. And he is so not aggressive. He's the most chill leopard gecko that I have. He's the most calm. Um, they haven't actually seen each other in like a week right now, so. That's what's going on here. <laughs> Are you bugging her? Is that what you're doing? So I got them and immediately I saw, okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna tell you the names so that I can stop calling them her and him and whatever. So um, this is Cash and this is June, as in Johnny Cash and June Carter. Um, I suspected that this was a, this was a male um, just because he was so big and then I looked underneath 
um, I think it's the vent area or whatever. And I'll put on screen what a, what a male and a female looks like, but it was definitely clear that he was a male and anyone that had Googled that and researched it would have seen that he was a male. So I think the guy probably knew that he sold me a male and a female. They might've been his breeding pair. Maybe that's why they're in a tank that looked that awful and sad. Um, not to say that all breeders have tanks like that. I just feel like when you're breeding geckos, they're typically in a smaller tank and you don't have like all the fun, pretty stuff in there that you usually have because it's a business for you. I'm pretty sure that he knew that it was a male and a female. He just knew that if he said that they were both female, he could get rid of them both together because typically people put two females together or a male and a female, but you really only have a male and a female together if you're breeding them. So um, the males can pester the females if they are put together and you're not breeding them. It can be very stressful for the females. Ha huh, baby, you know. She's like, yeah, I know. So I'm gonna get out of here right now. <laughs> Bye. June had months and months and months worth of old shed stuck to her toes. So I soaked her immediately in the house and kind of continuously did that. It was so cute. Nicole Cotillo comes in and she's like, what are you doing? And like I showed her and kind of talked to her about it because I had done a lot of research on leopard geckos and I still do just because I am never gonna remember everything and know everything. But um, look, he's already getting annoying with her. What are you doing? Leave her alone. Leave her alone. I'm gonna have to separate you. Are you being annoying? What did we talk about? I brought them home and I continued working on it for the next few days, finally got all of it off, but she was clearly not, like when you notice that on a leopard gecko, you need to take care of it. Um, they can lose their toes. Um, I asked the guy too if they had any heating or heat pads. He pretty much was like, no. And you have to have, you have to provide belly heat and ambient heat temperatures. Um, that are the proper temperatures for leopard geckos. You can't just put them in a tank and just hope for the best. I got them all set up and they're all good, but I just wanted to make a video introducing you guys to them since I hadn't before and you had not met them. You probably saw them on Instagram, etc. Cash has his own idea of what the hell's going on today too. Do you look like Chester the Cheeto Man? Don't hide under my double chin. Don't hide under my double chin. Did I wake you up from a nap? I'm sorry.